because I do have some news for you guys. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be completely honest. Despite the fact that I absolutely love what I do, there are some days where I do not feel like talking to a camera and today is one of those days when I just don't feel good. I, I really just uh, mentally, physically, I'm going through it. I just don't feel good. Everything's fine. I just, it's just one of those days. The reason why I am filming is because we actually do have a lot that needs to get done today and I didn't, I didn't want to do it without you. I have to feed my baby jumping spiders, the ones that I have left from the first sack. I need to rehouse and separate the second sack and I also have a little bit of news about possibly a third sack. Um, we'll get into that last. So yeah, we have a lot to do today. Okay, so I have some really cold fruit flies. Hopefully they're not going to be like super duper crazy. But yeah, first I thought we could go ahead and feed the jumping spiders that I have left from the first sack. What happened to the rest of them? I basically just gave them away to you guys locally. I had some people on Instagram reach out to me telling me they're local. I dropped some off at like a local pet shop and had people pick it up from there. I've met some of you. Um, very carefully and yeah so i i was able to give away pretty much all of chai's babies what i have left i'm gonna keep and grow a little bit more there is another one or two people that is gonna take a couple but pretty much i'm keeping what's left of this first sack starting out with this guy this one oh wait no starting out with this guy this is specifically the chumming spider that ate in that one video where nobody else wanted to eat so i thought we could go ahead and feed this one first because obviously it's my favorite chumming spider baby oh god i still see some of these fruit flies are alive i mean they're all alive i i meant active i can see that some are active yeah but it's it slows them down quite a bit when you put them in the fridge and I have more in the fridge too But yeah, I just thought it'd be cool to just like hang out with you guys and just like be really chill today I know I said in the opening that I wasn't feeling the greatest physically basically my daughter caught a cold and then um, I don't know if I can say like the word because YouTube doesn't like it when we use certain words I don't know what I can say, but I did get her tested. It was negative then a couple days later I started feeling like sick and it's kind of like this weird like I feel sick but like I don't feel sick, but it's like back and forth kind of thing. Yeah, so I did go get tested, but I haven't heard back yet. Um, I am half vaccinated, and like I said, I did get her tested and it was negative, so I don't think that's what it is, but I'm just like being safe, you know, as you should. Anyway, see how big this one's gotten? I am in love. Let's go ahead and try to feed it. Um, I'm not promising the most cinematic shots because they are tiny, but you know, we'll do what we can. Oh, that was three, but that's okay. Look at its little eyes. Get it, get it, get it. <sighs> oh, it's so funny. So, so funny. They are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. And yeah, I will just leave the other two in there and I am sure it will take it down one after another. They definitely will just eat and eat and eat and that's great. <laughs> that means they're growing. But yeah, this one, my favorite. And let's keep going. Um, I mean, we've got quite a few left. This one looks like it just molted. Yeah, this one definitely looks like it just molted. Hello, hello. Oh, I did not mean, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Oh no, you're going the wrong way, my friend. I'm sorry, I did not mean to do that. I was just trying to clean out, like they're these fruit fly bodies, man, they add up. All right, there we go. Drop two in there. Oh, I actually dropped three in there. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Stay in there, stay in there. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Why are you so cute? They really do be growing into those eyes, let me tell you. Look at her fly. This one is like, I have a chance at freedom and I might take it today. I don't think this one's gonna eat for us today. Well, I mean, I think it's going to eat today. I just don't think it's gonna eat for the camera because it is too distracted with the lid off. Sorry, buddy. But yeah, I'm sure it will get those fruit flies pretty quickly <laughs> once it gets over everything. Now this one is one that is still pretty small. Like it seems like some of them just grow so much faster than the others. But yeah, this one is like super duper tiny. I don't know why. It this one doesn't even really have any markings on it yet, but I don't know, it's been eating. So we're just gonna keep feeding it. Uh-oh, I think some of these fruit flies managed to get out. Okay, so we got one in there. 
too. Oh, oh, it's definitely interested. Nice. Got it. Cool, all right, let's keep going. We got uh, three down. Here's another. This one has a lot of color on it. Look at it, oh my gosh. Look at all that color. Dang. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna put another in there too before we close the lid, but I wanna see if it'll take this. Yay! Ah! They will just like take down prey. Like that's the same size as them. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and Uh, yeah, the fruit flies have definitely livened up. Oh, I wasn't sure if this one is alive because it kind of was posed weird, but I think it is. It is, it's right there. And this one has color too. Oh, my gosh. I will be so happy when they can take bigger prey. I don't know, hopefully this one will take it. Oh, it just kind of went right back into its little uh, webbed up area with its molt, so. I don't know. No, no, no. Uh-uh, get back on this lid. Oh, and there's another. <laughs> so that one gets three. Yeah, this one's not got much color either, but it does have more color than that one small, small one. Oh my God, there's so many fruit flies. That was just accidentally so many. Oh, I think it's gonna take them though. Here's the another. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it, take it, take it. Yes, cool, cool. All right, so this one got three fruit flies. This one down here. Definitely looks like it's ready for some fruit flies. Look at that. Oh wow, I like the colors on this one. Look at that. Ooh, this one's gonna be really cool looking, I bet. Look at it. Get it, get it, get it. Yay! Yeah, I think another time, like when I'm not doing a feeding, I just need to go through all of them and clean out the fruit fly carcasses because there are quite a few that just build up so quickly. But if I do it before I feed them, then they seem a little too scared to eat, so. Now, let's go ahead and separate these. Um, it doesn't look like, like a lot of them I don't think survived, but I do see some that are like still alive, so I'm guessing those ones will be the good ones. I don't think this one's gonna be near as tedious as before, because last time that sack, this first sack that I got was huge. The second one I got, if you guys remember, it was like super teeny tiny. There was probably like 20 or 30. And yeah, I'm pretty sure there's only like 10 still alive. I'm not really sure. This one was kind of like weird. It seems like the second sacks aren't usually as strong. But yeah, I'm going to poke holes in all these and then we will separate them. <laughs> So I have made like a bunch of these. I'm pretty sure this will be enough. And we'll just go ahead and separate them. As you see, some of them are hanging out up here. So we just wanna try to get them to get down. Get down. They've kind of built their web up on it a little bit too though. So we gotta be like extra careful. Oh, sh <laughs> there's one. And that's a fruit fly, all right. Uh, all right, quickly look through this, make sure. So yeah, basically um, I had Chai in here with them for quite a while and she just seemed totally uninterested after a while. She seemed like bored. So I moved her back into her enclosure and um, I left the babies together because I guess you're like supposed to do that for a while. But honestly, I'm pretty sure some cannibalism was happening here. I really think so. Um, and I really feel like the longer you leave them together, the more cannibalism you're gonna get. Because these losses that I had last time and also this time, from what I can tell, it honestly looks like they were eaten by other siblings, to be honest. Like, I really think that's what's happening. And I know somebody commented at one time saying that the sooner you separate, the less losses you will have because they will cannibalize. 
and some people disagreed with that but from my experience both times it really seems as if they will eat each other i'm pretty sure that's again i it's i'm not for sure but it just seems like that is the case it looks like these guys could probably even eat soon too but yeah i don't think there's too many of them so i'm just gonna woo. Not totally uh, wanting to leave. They don't want to leave the nest. There we go. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting better at this. So what do you guys think? <laughs> well, you know, it does look like there might be more in here than I thought. I estimated that there would be like 10, so I'm gonna, you know, obviously I'll be very thorough, but I don't think there's many more left. Let's see, I see three there. Four, five, six, wow, there's actually more than I thought. <laughs> Cup for you, Cup for you. Okay, yeah, I think that was it. Oh, you get back in there, you get back in that cup. Red alert, red alert, red alert. Oh no, red alert, come here. <laughs> get a lid on this one. For that one gets any ideas. All right, come here. There we go. Saved it. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. Actually, I think I was right. It seems like there's nine left. Cause yeah, there's nothing left on this except little bodies of fruit flies and the siblings. Oh wait, there's 10. There's 10, I guessed right again. Got another. Cool. But yeah, see, like these are the losses that I've had, those little black ones, and they look shriveled up like they've been eaten. Granted, they could have just, you know, died and like started to look like that, but I don't know. It's very sus, very sus to me. Oh wait, that's eight. No, wait, I was wrong. I was wrong. I think we only have nine. Pretty sure we only have nine, so sorry. I'm terrible at math. Okay, there we go. Okay, how many do we have? Let's see, yeah, there's nothing left in here. Double checking, nothing left in here. Lots of uh, fruit fly and sibling carcasses, but nothing interesting. Okay, yeah, we have two, four, six, eight, nine. So we have nine. I was pretty close. Um, yeah, I was actually really close. But yeah, we have nine. Let's go ahead and feed these guys really quick too because, I mean, why not? I have another fruit fly culture in the fridge so we don't have to try, yeah, keeping up with these. I don't know how good these will be at eating, but we can try. Yeah, these fruit flies are like super duper out. They're sleeping. Funny enough, like when I was in school, I remember teachers would always like keep it so cold in the classroom. And I had like several teachers say, oh, we do it to keep you guys awake. Um, I don't know about you guys, but like I hate being cold. And if I feel cold, I will literally just go to sleep. Like I cannot tolerate it at all. So I'm very similar to fruit flies. I think it's going to take it. Nope, maybe. All right, maybe not, I don't know. But I'm gonna feed them all really quickly before all these fruit flies, oh, they're already waking up. Literally, it's like been like a minute and they're already waking up. It's awful, awful. This one just has it trapped in its web and it's just kind of like, well, I'm just gonna stare at it and watch it struggle. <laughs> what is going on? There we go, oh my gosh, what? so 
clumsy. Got it. Awesome. There we go. All right. Well, I'm glad we also got the new babies fed individually. And I'm just going to put them back in here. I do think I'm getting better at this, though. Um, I'm definitely learning what works. And that's good because I do have some news for you guys. So I know a lot of you are probably going to think that Chai had more babies, but it was not Chai. <laughs> it was not Chai. Now, I do not know how good this egg sac is, but this is actually Matcha. She's a Phytopus regius also, but I did not breed her. She was wild caught, I'm sure, and she is or was gravid. So now we have another egg sac. Don't know who the father is or anything like that. But yeah, there it is. And so I feel like this enclosure will be a little bit easier to secure because I feel like I could just put like cling wrap around it and then maybe put, get a needle and just like poke teeny tiny little holes over some of the ventilation so it's not like too stuffy in there. But I think that's what I'm going to do once they actually start emerging. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is a fertile sac. Sometimes they will lay an egg sac and it's not fertile. It's just like a random like thing that happens but that you know they didn't maybe they didn't even breed and they lay the egg sac in it and it doesn't become anything but I don't know I, I really am not sure since it's wild caught there's a very good chance she made it before she was caught and sent to me so yeah this is uh this will be fun <laughs> we have more babies I don't know I'll keep you guys updated but yeah Masha's gonna be a mommy too just like Chai <laughs> Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed like this video if you did subscribe if you're not and you want to be Don't forget I have an Instagram that is probably way too much. It's at You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below and I will see you guys soon Let's get into the Patreon pet pics <laughs>